Hey kidlets, so today I am coming to you with a Lorac Pro the, for the first palette, um, like a charcoal -y, sexy look. Honestly, what this was going to be was just a get ready with me, but I didn't film at first, so I had to recharge it and yada yada. So as per usual, I started out with putting soft over, soft over, soft ochre paint pot all over my lid from lid lash line to brow bone and then taking Jane Cosmetics as per usual again as a transition shade. I'm then mixing two shades from the Lark Pro palette. Um, they, it, it's a medium brown and a more of a mauve brown. Once again, I'm just like completely blowing this out. I'm extending it to the length of my eyebrow. With that, it's just going to become smoky and not too cat eye. And then I'm taking Sable, I believe, and Espresso, and I'm putting that in my outer V and, once again, blowing it upwards. I'm so sorry about that noise. It sounds like crickets or something. I'm not quite sure what it is. I really apologize. I'm outside, and I don't know what the heck's going on. But, um, so just blend, 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 smoke it. Just add more and add more. Blend. Blending will take away some of the pigmentation of the color, so just add some more, add some more. Then I take the black, and I don't know why that didn't show, but I took the black and I put that in my outer V with a pencil brush and then once again blew it out. I think that's what the key is to this whole look, is constantly blowing out the color and bringing it up to extend where your um, eyebrow will end. This is not a cat eye look, so I will not be putting... Um, uh, winged liner. Sorry for my stuttering, geez. So I just uh, smudged some Alme eyeliner and then I took the black and then the gunmetal shade on a really stiff brush and um, I'm using that to smudge out the eyeliner. And again, I am not having a precise line at the end. I am keeping it very blown out. I think I've said that word how many times now and I just have to reiterate it if you want it to be a cat eye you put tape on there you clean up your edges you do whatever you please you put your winged eyeliner and everything but I think I've been doing so many looks with winged eyeliner and a really precise line so I wanted to do something a little different and with the key to having the smoky eye this smoky eye in particular this like charcoal -y, black um, smoky eye is a light shade on your lid and I don't remember exactly what I used but I think I used shroom by MAC with my finger and I think that's what looks really good with this look um, something a little yellow based since this is a cool toned um, look and then I cannot believe that I forgot this but I forgot to prime my face like what I never forget to prime my face, but I did moisturize and put eye cream on before I started this look, so I guess it worked, but I took MAC Pro Longwear, or no, I didn't, I took MAC Studio Fix concealer and put that underneath my eyes, and then I took the Maybelline Age Rewind in Brighton, and I focused it more on the inner part of my eyes and then blew it out a little bit towards the end. Um, but really, I focused it where I get darkest throughout the day and where I am darkest right now. And that is the inner part of my eye. And then I'm starting my cream contour. I did not do a cream highlight. I did not do cream blush. And I did not really brighten my whole face. But taking the Sonia Kashuk bronzer in the lighter shade, I just am going to contour my face. Um, this hot weather really requires me to... Um, do a cream contour. So I just like pull my skin taut um, and I use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Face? I don't know why I always say that. Ugh. Expert Face Brush. And um, I just buff that out to give it like a really blown out look. It's not supposed to be like too harsh of a, it's not, yeah, it's not supposed to be too harsh of a contour. It's just supposed to be like a bronze. So obviously I sit underneath my eyes and I set my face and then I take my beloved Wet n Wild Bikini Contest 720 bronzer 
and I just buff it all over my face to give myself a warm sun-kissed glow. Once again, not strong contour. For these summer days, I am not enjoying a really strong contour. I am more enjoying just a bronzy look. And then I took Melba and Dainty Blush by MAC and put that on my cheekbones, kind of focusing it a little bit more um, towards the back of my cheekbones um, in comparison to what I usually do, putting it right on my um, apples of my cheeks. And as you see, I almost forgot to fill in my eyebrows, and that would have been a mistake because I kind of look like weird. It, honestly, it looks so odd without having my eyebrows filled in. And I use um, uh, Lingering by MAC. Now, as much as I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz, I still love Lingering by MAC more. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. New videos on Mondays and Thursdays and every other Saturday. Love you!